Let's listen to this. ESPN Get Up Crew on uh, Baker Mayfield and what kind of an option he is for teams right now. Are you trying to tell me that mm -hmm. Baker's not a better option than at least what they currently have waiting for them tonight? Well, no, L, I think you're, you're right. Like, Baker Mayfield in 2022 is a better option if you have to play a quarterback than any of these guys that are coming out in this year's draft. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any question about that. The difference is, is exactly what Dan, uh, you know, has been outlining, which is none of these quarterbacks in this year's draft are going to sign a one-year $19 million deal. I mean, so that's really what it comes down to. It's, it's about the compensation and the fact that, you would have him for one year. And so, you know, I think the, look, I, I believe he's getting released or again, what Dan outlined, which would be, all right, the Browns pay some of it and, you know, his salary. And then the, t the acquiring team, you know, doesn't absorb the, the full $19 million roughly that Baker's owed this year. Baker takes his motto. He's always got to prove that all the doubters are out there. Yeah. Shut him up. Is he still a starter in the NFL in your mind? Good enough to be one? Uh, he is. I, I think he's one of the best 32. So I think he, he's definitely a starter. My, my question would be when you talk about like what does he have to prove that you can win because of him? Like I think that's mm -hmm. th that's the knock on him at Cleveland, right? As you put this good football team around. I know he played injured last season, but are you going to win games because Baker Mayfield is your starter? And Quincy, that last statement is the question that I kind of had. You can win with them. I don't know if you can win because of them. I think actually the question is is a little bit different for me because I do think he can win you a game. I've seen him win a game, right? Against Cincinnati, he's done that. The question isn't can he win you a game. The question with Baker Mayfield is can he win you more games than he's going to lose you, right? Because that's what we've seen with Baker Mayfield. Sometimes he plays great and we win a game because of him. Sometimes we lose strictly because of Baker Mayfield, right? Like, it is all on him at certain points, right? When you throw four, inter three interceptions in one half of football, I don't know how else to characterize that, but you cost him the game. And then you throw an interception at the end of the game that was very inexcusable, right? Like, that's the Baker Mayfield ride. People kind of, I think sometimes we misdiagnose this as it being similar to like the Andy Dalton thing, which is Andy Dalton's going to play at this level all the time. And it's sometimes it's good enough. Sometimes it's not dependent on what you got around him. Baker Mayfield go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And sometimes that's worse because you don't know what to expect with a dude like that. You can't build around a dude like that. You can't surround because he can sabotage anything, but also you can have him. He played pretty well in 2018 around some wide receivers that ain't even in the NFL anymore, right? Like, he can play at that level, elevate people, and you're like, oh, my goodness, he's really good. And then you can have him have, like, a whole Pro Bowl offense around him, and then he just tears it down and, and destructs it because he's playing so awfully, right? Like, that's, that's the life that you live with Baker Mayfield. It's more akin to a Jay Cutler than it is – or Jay Cutler and a um, – what's his name? Ryan Fitzpatrick – than it is a Andy Dalton, right? I don't have the question of can you win with Baker May or can Baker Mayfield win you a game? I know he can. I have the question of does he win more games than he's going to lose you out the course of the year? And that's the issue, right? That's where Baker Mayfield drives us crazy. When we lose games that we could have won, but we did it because he turned the ball over too many times. That's where he drives you crazy.